Hello friends, my name is Nick and this is Chip Chat. Today we are chatting about Kyo's Crinkle Cut Atlantic Salt, Atlantic Sea Salt and Balsamic Vinegar. Sorry, I was trying to read it on the screen and the text is backwards because that's how that stuff works, I guess. Anyway, let's open them up. Kyo's. I looked at their looked at their watched a little video on their website to get that pronunciation down. These are uh, deliciously fresh Irish potato chips, potato crisps, as they are called. Let's see. Okay. I'm getting a, uh, I think I'm getting a whiff of salt and vinegar. There's the first chip. Nice and crinkly. Crinkle cut, as the bag says. So, I got these as a gift. Um, which was great. Um, I mean, any gift is great, but a gift of chips is especially nice. Let's me know that you enjoy what I'm doing here. Um, and, and, you know, maybe I should just say, cause I usually say it at the end of the video and who knows if you're, you've probably turned it off by the time I say it, but, um, you know, if, if you like chip chat, please, if you're not already, uh, subscribe to my channel on YouTube. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, like all those pages, follow me everywhere. That'll help me out. Help me keep making chip chats. Um, so I was excited to try these because they were a gift. But also, as I mentioned, these are Irish. Um, on the back, I won't really try to show you because it's kind of in small text, but on the back, it has a little thing that says Spud Nav. Like the Spud Navigator, I guess, for this bag of chips. So it tells me, printed on this bag, it tells me the field on the farm that these chips came from, or these potatoes came from, um, the variety of potatoes used, which in this case is Lady Rosetta. The field was Rogenstown. And then it tells me who cooked it. Um, I'll keep that info private. And then, uh, yeah, it has info, so you can go online, which I did, go to their website, the Kyo's website, put in the farm or the field, I guess, um, and it'll kind of show you, take it, take you to that field on the map, and then kind of show you some photos and stuff, um, so it was cool, yeah, I like that, I like that, I don't know if that's a thing only Kios does, or that's a other, other Irish potato companies are doing that, um, but I'm a fan. And in general, I mean, this bag is great. I love the logo. I like that the O is all shiny. It's foil. Um, it's grown with love in Ireland. That's very nice. And then like this, this giant chip is awesome. It's got the little tractor and stuff on it. Um, yeah. Just really, really good chip, or really good bag all around. Um, now the chips, obviously they're crinkle cut. Um, and I'm digging these. I mean, the balsamic vinegar. Um, I mean, I like vinegar. 
I like salt and vinegar chips. But I think the fact that they're balsamic vinegar is definitely making a difference here. Um, yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I'm getting that. I'm noticing that it's balsamic vinegar. It's not like, um, it's not as, I guess it's a more subtle flavor. It's not as of a sharp, intense vinegar taste that a lot of salt and vinegar chips have. So if you, if you like something vinegary, but maybe slightly more mild, this is, this is a good chip for that, but it, but I don't, you know, I don't want to give you the impression that they're not like, that the vinegar isn't there because it's very present. It's just not like filling all of your senses and making like your tongue hurt or something. Also, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the Lady Rosetta potatoes, or maybe it's the field that these came from in Rogenstown. But um, these are really good. Like, the, just the chip, the weight of this chip is satisfying. Like, this is a hearty chip, and it's not, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's almost like I'm not sure why, but it just is. It's, it's, I mean, it's obviously a little thicker cut, and it has the, the crinkles, right? But it's, like, hefty in a very satisfying way, and... It just has a very... Yeah, very pleasing, very pleasing mouthfeel. Yeah. It's like this is a very serious chip, you know? I like it. Um, yeah, big fan. I've never been to Ireland. I would like to go. I'd like to go wherever, really, anywhere. Um, yeah, the only only other country I've been to when I've left the United States has been Canada, which is great. I like Canada. Toronto, well, it's, I've really just been around Ontario. But Toronto's great. Been to some other places, other smaller spots around Ontario that have been really cool. Never been to Ireland. Um, never been anywhere else. I think, so my passport, I think it expires, it expires this year, but I think it's like in the fall or something. So, I don't know. I'm really hoping I can get a chance to go on a quick trip somewhere. Um, I've always felt like, I don't know, for trying to do international travel, I've always felt like you see like cheap flights pop up, you know, but I've always felt like, well, if I'm going out of country, like I should spend, you know, spend a good amount of time, spend like a couple weeks in a different place, at least, you know. But, I don't know, maybe I should, maybe I should try to get a cheap flight and just do, like, a somewhat spontaneous trip somewhere, maybe to Ireland. Um, and, uh, you know, just even if I can't go, even if I can just go, like, a long weekend or something, just do it, and then that way I'll be, I'm just thinking of this right now, but I'll be, like, motivated, you know, to do it more or to do it again you know I'll be like oh I I did it and I should do that again but be able to spend more time next time or whatever you know and going somewhere where English is pretty 
prevalent would be helpful as well because it's really all I can speak, unfortunately. But potato chips are truly the universal language. Um, perhaps predating all language, I think, would be the language of the chip. So with that, we'll go over to the chip chart where we will turn the love language of the chip into like the science of the chip, you know? That's what the chip chart is all about, is the science. So, to the chip chart. Here we have it. Let's do a little scroll of our chips. We're getting up there. 16 chips and counting that have been charted. Um, now, I like these a lot. These are very good. These are going high on the list, on the chart. The flavor is very good. It's like a familiar salt and vinegar chip, but with its own twist. The balsamic vinegar stands out. It's not too intense of a vinegar flavor. The chip consistency and texture is fantastic. I love the bag. I love the story and that I'm given the name of the type of potato and the person that cooked it, that is awesome. Um, so let's see. Boy. Well, I think, I think they definitely beat out Luke's Organic Barbecue. Um, those were very good. Those also had a kind of uh, you know, farmer-owned um, story to them, and they had that um, personal feel, I guess, or whatever, to their to their brand, and they were very good. But I just I like salt and vinegar more than barbecue, really, um, unless that barbecue is really doing something outstanding. And while those were good, I'm gonna say these are better. Now, as far as comparing these to the Utz fried dill pickle, oh, that's tough. That is tough. I don't think I'm ready to put, I'm not ready to put these above the fried dill pickle. Those, those were real good. And I'm still, the Kettle Brand Chili Verde remain the, like, white whale that I am chasing to try to recapture that glory of that chip. So, yes, let's put these right here, the new number three. Um, and I put it in bold this time for the time being, so you can a little more easily at a glance see where it just went. Um, the new number three, Kyo's Crinkle Cut Sea Salt and Balsamic Vinegar. We've had some good few most recent chips you know, the last few chats have been have gone pretty high up on the ranks. It's been a good streak here. Mm-hmm. Well, let me know if you've tried this brand. I don't even know. Like I said, I got these as a gift. I don't know how easy these are to get in the U.S. Nope. Um, but... Yeah, let me know if you've had these or if, if uh, you've been to Ireland. Or if you're in Ireland, send me some chips. Give me some more of these, you know? And send me some other brands, too. I'm going to try, try out some more authentic Irish chips. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining. And I'll see you next time.